ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टेड कंपोनेंट ऑफ द 100 पाउंड फोर्स एक्टिंग अलोंग द एक्सिस बीसी ऑफ द पाइप सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दिस फोर्स एफ अलोंग दिस बीसी पाइप सो एज वी नो दैट द projection is always determined by the dot product so let's say that the projection of f along bc magnitude this will be equal to the f the dot product of f with the unit vector from b to c so the unit vector from b to c since we want to find the projection of this force f along this bc pipe so now we have to find this f vector and the unit vector along bc so first of all i find the unit vector along bc so let me write that the unit vector along bc this will be equal to the position vector from b to c divided by its magnitude so now to find the position vector from b to c we need to move from b to c so to reach that point c from b we need to travel 6 feet distance we need to travel this 6 feet distance in the positive x so i will write plus 6 i we need to move uh, plus 6 feet in the positive i direction in the positive x then we need to move 4 feet distance in the positive y along the positive y so i will write plus 4j and then we need to move 2 feet distance in the negative z this is the positive z so we need to move in the downward direction so that is in the negative k direction so i will write minus 2k so this is the position vector from b to c and its magnitude we can find its magnitude that will be 6 square plus 4 square and that will be minus 2 square so minus 2 square or plus 2 square is the same thing right so this is the the position vector from b to c so we can find that this is 6 square plus 4 square plus 2 square so this gives us 2 square root 14 so let me write that this magnitude is 2 square root 14 this is 2 square root 14 so now this is the position vector from b to c similarly we can find that force f so that force f will be equal to let me write it here this is that force f and it will be its magnitude times the unit vector from c to d since the force is acting from c to d so the force magnitude is 100 pounds and to find uh, this unit vector from c to d is the position vector from c to d divided by its magnitude from c to d so now to find the position vector from c to d we need to move we need to reach that point d from c along the positive x y and z axis respectively so i can write that this is 100 and to reach that point d from c we need to move 2 feet distance in the positive z direction that is we are moving in parallel to the positive z direction so i will write plus 2k and then from here we need to move uh, 6 feet distance in the negative x direction so in the negative i so i will write minus 6i and then we need to move this much distance that is 8 feet distance in the positive y direction so i will write plus 8j and the its magnitude will be minus 6 square so minus 6 we can write minus 6 square as 6 square plus 8 square plus 2 square so this is its magnitude so that is 6 square plus 8 square plus 2 square so this is 2 square root 26 so let me write it as 2 square root 26 and 100 divide let me let me write this as 2 square root 26 and 100 divided by 2 square root 26 100 divided by that answer so that is 9.806 so this is 9.806 into minus 6i plus 8j plus 2k so now we can use this equation to find that projection so the projection of that the, of the force f along bc magnitude is f so this is that f vector which is 9.806 into minus 6i plus 8j plus 2k and the dot product with this that is 
i plus 4 j minus 2 k divided by 2 square root 14 or we can write that 2 square root 14 here. So, this is 9.9.806 divided by 2 square root 14 and the dot product of both of these vectors. So, this will be minus 6 into 6 and minus 6 into 6 i dot i is 1 and i dot j and i dot k they are always equals to 0. So, we need to only multiply i with i, j with j and k with k. So, this is plus 8 into 4 j dot j is 1 and 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. So, this is thir minus 36. Let me write this as minus 36. This is 32. So, now we can find this. This is 9.806 divided by 2 square root 14 multiply by minus 36 plus 32 minus 4. So, this gives us the projection magnitude equals to minus 10.48. So, that is minus 10.48 pounds and the negative signs tell us that the direction of the projection is in the direction of C to B, right? It is moving from C to B. We have used the unit vector from B to C but it is against that direction it is in the opposite direction of b to c so it is acting in the direction of c to b so we can write that the projection of that force f is from c to b and its magnitude is 10.48 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning and like this video if you people want me to continue uh, solving Hibbler statics problems.